All right, how's it going, guys? Now, I decided to try three different levels of home baking of my favorite apple pie. This is the completely homemade, top to bottom, made the crust from scratch, chopped up Fuji apples, because Fuji's are the best for uh, apple pie, and made a crumb topping for it. Now, this is the second level, not quite as much from scratch, but still, I call it the home assembled pie with canned uh, pie filling and uh, some of those boxed pie crusts that you can unroll. And I made a lattice top on there because that's pretty easy to make when you're using the canned pie crust. And lastly, this is straight out of the freezer section right in the oven of Marie Callender's pie. You can tell that it is completely uh, pre-made because it is absolutely immaculate looking. You know, it is completely symmetrical. There's nothing goofy about it. So I'm gonna cut into the th these three pies and let you know how the flavors compare. So first up, the Marie Callender's from the freezer section pie. Let's see how it is. All right, that piece fell apart a little bit, but it stayed mostly together. I think after it cools down a little bit more, it would probably you know, stick together and make more of that like picturesque pie coming out of the pie plate. Really big chunks of apple inside of this. Let's see how it tastes. It tastes like sugar and spice, and those apples have absolutely no flavor at all. They're like cotton balls in my mouth. <laughs> they, got, they give it a little bit of chew and texture, but no flavor whatsoever. The crust, again, not a whole lot of flavor on it. Uh, it's got a good, like a good tender texture to it though. Not too bad, but not, not exactly great. I think if this was served at my Thanksgiving dinner, I'm not even sure I'd finish a piece. Next up, the home assembled pie. Now, this was super easy to put together. It took all of, you know, five minutes and then 45 minutes of baking. I think this could use a little bit more time to cool down as well. Uh, it didn't really hold together quite as well as I was hoping it to, hoping it would, but you know, that's probably my fault. It just needs to cool down a little bit more. So let's try this filling. It's sweet, not quite as much spice as the Marie Callender's. Uh, a little bit of apple flavor, but absolutely no texture. This is like, you know, this has no, no give, no bite to it. These are like, uh, like little chunks of jello. <laughs> and that canned pie crust, let's see how it, uh, how it tastes. Now I'm really impressed with this boxed pie crust. Uh, it's nice and flaky, has a good buttery flavor to it. Really not too bad. Now, if, if I was gonna do that again, I would amp up the uh, filling with a little bit of cinnamon, some nutmeg, you know, that classic apple pie spice, and um, probably give it a little bit more flavor. Last up, I'm not super confident with how well this is set because this is an extremely large pie. So it probably needs to like be in the fridge for another hour before it uh, sets up. But we'll see how it tastes. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is so sloppy in the middle. You can see where I cut it, it's just like apple pie soup. <laughs> so first of all, I'm not the best at making pie crusts, but I can do a, a, a decent job. Yeah, not my best. I think it's a little bit tough, probably overworks the dough a little bit, but that's on me. Now for the filling, I cut it in decent sized chunks so that it might have a little bit of bite left, but still be able to cook all the way through. A little bit of bite, a 
little bit of sweetness, but those Fuji apples just have the perfect texture when they're cooked. Um, got a little bit of spice in there. Now I really like my fillings. I think they're fantastic. Maybe if I use my filling with some of that uh, uh, boxed prepared pie crust, that would be like the perfect combination. Now that crumbled topping, there's a nice brown sugar spiced topping that I really like as well. I've always loved it. You can, you can hardly uh, never go wrong with butter and brown sugar. It's just an awesome combination. I think this entire pie, I used two whole sticks of butter. You know, one for the um, pie crust, and then I used half of one for the topping and another half for the actual filling in the middle. So where do I stand when it comes to these three pies and comparing them each? Obviously that's very subjective. I think the Marie Calendar filling was pretty good. And I think that the, uh, like the assembled pie crust was pretty good. But I really like my own where I can, you know, tweak the little bits to make it exactly how I really like it. So I think having that knowledge of how to make a pie, you know, lets me make the pies like I like them. <laughs> now of course, you know how these things always have to end. I cannot let uh, any of this food ever go to waste. So, I'm gonna see just how much of these pies I can finish in one sitting. Got my handy watch so I can keep track of time. Let's start with this Marie Calendars and get feasting. Oh my gosh, that frozen pie was so syrupy. I could tell there was so much syrup in it, <laughs> so much sugar. Oh my gosh, just run straight to your head. <laughs> that Duncan Hines pie filling though, it's, it's not a whole lot better. It's basically just apples and different mixes of sugar.
eating pie is messy business. <clears throat> I gotta find a less messy way to get at these things. Triple apple pie feast. I think it'll be a while before I want another one of those. One reason that I prefer these home challenges to uh, restaurant challenges is I don't mind pushing myself to the point where I just might lose my cookies. Next time I think I'll have a, a nice cold glass of milk for uh, dessert. That sounds pretty good right about now. Oh, hey guys, I hope you got a kick out of that. I hope you have happy Thanksgiving, wonderful holidays, uh, and eat as much pie as you want, but please, no more than that. <laughs> so until next time, you guys take it easy. Peace out. Oh, I feel miserable. <laughs> <laughs>